What's up guys, it's me, Crushed Pixel. Today I'm showing you a cool filter made by my friend Johnny0702 for MC Edit. Um, what it basically does, it just uh, takes every spawner you select and puts it into one small cube so there are no spawners spread all over the map or where you don't want to have them but in one place where they are easy to handle and it's just really useful. Um, I'll show you at an example of um, blocks of iron falling down around this sky island um, because I thought that would be a cool effect and maybe some of you wanted to um, make something like this too just blocks spawning in the air and falling down then now I'll show you how to do this it's pretty easy at this point there will be um, blocks of iron spawned um, I'll copy uh, clone them all over the map so they don't just fall down at this place because that would look somewhat ugly but um, all around the map first we need to have a falling entity I'll take some sand to make that because sand just falls in Minecraft and I can apply Suthblink's change entity properties filter um, to that sand to that falling sand entity um, to make it a stone one so I'll just um, make this sand fall by destroying the block underneath and then I'll quit Minecraft and head over to MC Edit. Okay, you have to quit it um, right um, before it um, touches the bottom um, because else it won't be a falling sand entity anymore and we don't want this. Okay, now in MC Edit um, you see this red block there. This is the falling sand entity. Um, let me just select it. You have to select um, a little bit around the entity because there are um, MC edit bugs with selections and entities. So just do it this way then. Um, use the change entities filter by Zethbling. Um, because we want to make the entity fall down, you give it a velocity of minus one. Um, uh, the speed of falling down will increase anyway um, while falling down, so minus one is fine. Um, the falling block idea will be 42, um, because 42 is always the right answer, and because it's block of iron, and I want blocks of iron to fall down because it looks pretty cool. Um, the falling block data is um, not important now, but if you want um, for example, mossy stone bricks instead of default stone bricks. Uh, stone bricks have the ID of 98, and if you want um, instead of default stone bricks, um, you want mossy stone bricks. You just make a data of one, so they will be mossy. But that's not important right now because there's only one type of iron block in Minecraft. So apply that filter. Now this entity is a falling iron block entity. Um, you now want uh, to copy this entity all over the place. So um, it should be there, 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 there and there. Um, because you don't only want one falling block of iron entity, of course. Um, so you copy this one and paste it here. Paste it here there around here too and just everywhere you want to have it okay now we're done with this part uh, let me just save it now we'll select the whole thing um, yes now it's all selected and we'll clone it so it's spread all over the island. Okay. Um, uh, I want to move it um, by 11 blocks because that's the width of that selection and repeat it so it's just everywhere over the island. Is this enough? Nah, 
let's just do it once more okay that looks fine so let's have that cloned oh it's already selected that's great and we'll clone it another time this time in the other direction okay and make it spread over the whole island too okay that that looks fine clone it again yeah it takes some time because it has to repeat the whole thing over 20 times so you have to wait a couple of seconds um let me save it again because um mc edit sometimes crashes and i want my data to be saved when it crashes okay uh now we have a lot of entities of falling block of iron entities uh, i'll just deselect that and because i don't want um the blocks of iron to fall on the island and just stay there because that would look really ugly um I'll just delete um, the area above the island. Um, yeah, just move it up and select the blocks and the entities inside the selection. Now just um, delete them. Great. And delete the entities too, make sure um, you don't forget that because uh, else the entities would be there too and that would be somewhat bad. Okay, let me save it again. This will take some time. But yes, it's done already. Then select all the entities. Now, I mean all the entities, so everything... We will create spawners out of that, so there will be falling iron blocks all the time, not only once, because that would be not what we want. Is it selected behind there too? Yes, it is. Okay, um, go on filter and make create spawners. Include position data means um, that um, the falling blocks will spawn where they are right now so um, this means they won't spawn around the spawner but um, where they are right now apply the filter and there will be a lot of spawners now okay and next we take the change spawner properties filter um, because you want to spawn them repeat, uh, repeating a lot of times, you make the minimum spawn delay 100 game ticks, the maximum spawn delay 200, the current spawn delay is fine, spawn count 1, this is um, because you checked the, um, ah, because you checked the um, keep uh, spawn spawn count this is not important entity cap is not important to detection range this is really important because you want to spawn them all the time even if there are players not within a range of 16 which is kind of unlikely when they are um, somewhere in the redstone thing um, where we put them later and the spawn radius doesn't matter here too now the spawner properties are saved we're nearly done I'll just save it another time um, we'll just delete the stone underneath because we don't want that to stay there okay now it's just the stone selected and delete great um, now we'll um, take Johnny 0702's filter called move spawners in block um, you can make the cube selection uh, a checkbox to um, make a cube out of that. This is what I recommend for most purposes. But you can make a height, uh, a height too, 
so it's just two blocks high and and the rest of the coordinates are made automatically um, I'll keep the original spawners so you can see uh, the difference between it and I want to have it a cube so run the filter recording the undo and here we go there should be a, a block of spawners let me just save so you can see them because um, it has to update the chunks and it only does when saving so yeah great you see behind there there are the spawners it's a huge block of spawners and it's just great uh, I recommend making the selection bigger than the spawners actually are because um, uh, the spawner block will create um, in one edge of the selection so the, um, it's not in some of the other spawners this may become complicated a lot so now I deleted this blocks save the whole thing and now you can move your spawner block wherever you want it to be let me just do this right now it's a falling sand spawner but actually it's spawning uh, falling blocks of iron um, uh, control X it copies them and deletes them from up here yeah it's pretty a lot blocks yeah 11 by 12 by 12 so it's pretty much a cube um, here is my redstone room or something I'll put it down here so you, yeah, you, you shouldn't see it later from down the island so this should be fine or one one higher uh -huh. just move it wherever you want I'll put it down there okay that's that's fine so I hope you liked this little tutorial um, on using these filters and the filter downloads are in the description um, I'll just import that one and I'll show you in Minecraft what it actually does okay so that's the final result you see there are falling iron blocks around um, this island um, yeah you can only see them for around um, 32 blocks um, because they are entities and you can't see them um, on a longer distance I think yes yeah here they become invisible um, but I think that's fine and um, because it works anyway um, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time